This episode of Tutcast is brought to you by LearnPhotoshopNow.com. Hey there, welcome to another Photoshop tutorial from Tutcast.com. Let's say for argument's sake that, completely by accident of course, you kick your son in the head. And of course your nosy neighbor was right there to capture that special moment on camera. We want to take this photo into Photoshop and fix this ugly blemish so that later on down the road your son has no recollection of what happened to him. So in this tutorial we're going to be primarily using the patch tool to clean up most of the blemish and then we're going to grab the clone stamp tool to fix up the little bits left over. So here we go. Now luckily in this image the blemish is pretty round. So we can go ahead and grab our elliptical marquee tool which is right over here and drag a selection over top of the blemish. Now we want to make sure to get the whole blemish and probably a little bit extra. If you are dragging it around, hold down your space bar so you can move the selection around just like that without confirming the selection. So we're going to drag it like this and right here looks like a pretty good selection. As you can tell, it's selected a little bit outside the blemish as well, which is pretty important later on down the line. Now to ensure that the final result isn't very sharp and harsh around the edges, we're going to go ahead and feather the selection. We're going to do that by going to Select, Modify, and then clicking on Feather. Now depending on the size of your image, this is a very large image, you'll want to choose a very large feather radius. Now for this example, I'm going to choose a radius of 10. If you have a smaller image, you may want to go for around 5. And we're going to click on OK. Now with an elliptical selection, you probably won't notice any difference after feathering, but trust me, there is a difference and you will notice it later on. The edges won't be as harsh. So once we have our selection done, we're going to go ahead and grab our patch tool. Now our patch tool is in our tools palette, the left hand side. You may see the spot, you may see any of these four. If you do, hold down your mouse button and then select the patch tool. The shortcut key is also J. If you hold down shift and press J, you can cycle through all four of those tools. Now this is how the patch tool works if you're not very familiar with it. Basically, we're going to move our mouse inside our selection and we're going to click and hold and then drag to an area that we want our selection to look like. And then we're going to let go. Basically what it's going to do, it's going to sample the area we drag on top of and apply it inside our selection. We can go ahead and deselect. And as you can tell, it's made a somewhat decent result, but it's not perfect. This is where the clone stamp comes into play. We're going to head over to the side and click on our clone stamp. Shortcut key is S. And we're going to increase our brush size a little bit. I'm going to decrease the opacity a little bit. I never like using the clone stamp with 100% opacity. Decrease it to around 60%. Holding down Alt or Option, we're going to click to sample an area. And then we're going to start painting on top just like this. And you'll notice it's correcting that area pretty nicely. And we can sample again one more time and continue painting on top. And we end up with a pretty decent result. Now you can continue going on and fix all of the areas as you can see just like this until you get a result that you're really happy with. Now if we zoom out just a little bit to show you what it looks like it's looking pretty natural, it's looking pretty good. If we take a look at our before that's the before and here's the after. I think it did a pretty good job in a very small amount of time using only two tools. Now you can make it even better fix the areas of the left side here but basically that's pretty much how that works using the patch tool and the clone stamp tool. Now you can get rid of any type of blemish using these two tools, but depending on the size and the shape of the blemish, some may be more difficult than others, but pretty much they're all possible to get rid of in a very short amount of time using some great tools in Photoshop. So grab your photos, kick your son in the head. No, don't do that. Never mind. Um, find some photos on the, on the internet, adjust some blemishes, fix them up, make them look great. And until next time, this is Howard from Tutcast.com. Take care.